got a chunk of iron, about four and a half inches diameter, weighs 12 pounds, going over a thousand miles an hour. This generates about 200 foot tons. And what that means in English is take a Volkswagen Beetle, push it off of a 20 story building, and when that hits the pavement, that's 200 foot tons. This was not a new kind of artillery, but the way it was used here maximized its destructive power. Pelham's positioning of his guns was ideal. As the Union forces move out, they, he is on their flank, on their side, and he's able to fire down the length of the line. So if he misses one, they'll hit something else. Solid shot used like this was lethal. Each steel drum represents a soldier. Fire! Fire! You have a solid piece of 12 or 20 pound metal. And when it hits the human frame, it is going to pass entirely through as if it was butter. However, the moment these Confederate guns opened fire, they found themselves immediately targeted by the latest artillery. The genius of these new guns lay in the shape of the shell. An elongated projectile stays point on, it cuts through the air. And so it keeps its velocity farther down range. And it will punch through the target. Ready? These rifled guns have not only long range, but also superb accuracy. Fire. The difference in accuracy is a smoothbore gun can hit the barn at a mile's range. The rifled gun can hit the barn door.